This is the Tokyo Butter 23 sneaker channel. I bring you daily content about reviews and upcoming sneaker releases. Tokyo Butter 23 no sneaker channel des. My niti absuru no de zehi mitte kuzai. And I bring you that daily content and flip between the languages as fast as I possibly can so that you can stay current with the upcoming sneaker releases and sneaker reviews. And today it's an absolute banger. Some people say that this sneaker is going to be in the top three sneakers of the year, and we're only in February. Today I'm bringing you a review of the Air Jordan 6. Infrared. As I said in the introduction, it's all about the Air Jordan 6 Infrareds today, but tomorrow I'll be bringing you another basketball sneaker, but this time it's from Adidas, and it's the Adidas Next Level Shock Red, which is a phenomenally funky looking sneaker if you ask me. In the case of the Air Jordan 6s, you're looking back to the past, you're looking to Michael Jordan, an era that people are nostalgic about, a sneaker that people look back on fondly, whereas in the case of tomorrow's Adidas next level. It's a sneaker for the future for sure. So we've got two different sneakers today and tomorrow. One looking to the past and one looking to the future. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you stay in touch with these sneaker reviews that I bring you every single day. All right, let's take a look at these Air Jordan 6 infrareds and they have a long history. Like I said, it's a, it's a sneaker from the past that we look back on fondly. And the reason that we look back on it fondly is it's because it was Michael Jordan's first sneaker that went together with a championship, the 1991 sneaker. This is the sneaker, as you can see from the screenshot up here. This is the sneaker that he wore in that season when he won his first championship with the Chicago Bulls. It was a three-peat championship series, so the first of three that they won in a row. And again, he would three-peat later in his career for a total of six championship rings. And this was the very first one, so there is that nostalgia and that historical element. And it is in that OG colorway from the 1990-1991 season. And that that's the big point of this sneaker. This sneaker has been brought out, I think, four times so far. Of course, it released for the first time in that 1990-1991 season, the original infrared blacks that dropped them, and there was a detail on them that was very important, and it was the Nike Air branding, which you could see mainly on the heel, but in other places throughout. Now, that's important, the Nike Air branding, because when these guys retroed for the first time in 2000, they kept the original Nike Air branding on that OG colorway. However, However, they retroed it two more times in 2010 and 2014. And the little difference, even though the colors and the detailing were almost identical in those two retros, the one detail that was different that was on the heel, instead of having the Nike Air branding, it had a Jumpman logo in both 2010 and 2014. And that's where the hype for this 2019 version is coming from, is because they've retroed it back to the original OGs with the Nike Air branding and that has put the hype through the roof. You can see that Nike Air branding prominently on the insole of these sneakers but of course being the insole you don't really get to see inside very much and people out there don't really get to see it but the main place that Nike Air branding is most prominent on the heel of these 2019 retros even though it's black on black, black branding on a black upper it's difficult to see but the Nike Air branding is very important to sneakerheads and very important to people who want that authentic OG G colorway experience. But that's not to say that the Jumpman doesn't appear on this sneaker at all. He appears in three significant places. The first is on the tongue where you can see that there's a stitched in red Jumpman logo on there right in the middle of the tongue. The second is on the outsole. If you flip these guys upside down, have a look at the outsole. You can see there again, it's a red Jumpman logo. And on the lace holders, if we go back above and have a look at the lace system, the lace holder is red itself with a black Jumpman logo. So there are three Jumpman logos on there, but it's that Nike Air branding on the heel that's getting everybody's attention and pushing the hype. But it's not just about hype, it's about the quality of the sneaker. And one of the main elements of that quality is the material that the upper is made from is all black Nubuck, a really soft quality material that brings a really nice touch to the sneaker. And it's one of the materials that sneaker heads out there really, really appreciate. Another detail that we appreciate in these black infrareds is the two places where the infrared accents appear most. And that is on the heel where the pull tab has that thin red infrared line through it. and then. Again, on the mud guards where you see that air unit towards the heel with that flash of infrared above it and towards the forefoot where there's a flash of 
infrared there too. And speaking of the mud guards, we flip it upside down and have a look at the outsole. And the outsole is mainly black and translucent, but it does have that red Jumpman logo on it to give it an extra bit of flash and an extra bit of color. All in all, these sneakers are a really clean colorway. They're a really fine looking sneaker and they do stay true to that OG 1990-1991 season colorway for the Air Jordan 6 infrared blacks. And that's why people are going to buy these and they're going to buy them in the bucket load. It will be hard to get your hands on them. So I suggest you get up early and get poised and ready with the sneakers app to hit that buy button. Otherwise, these guys are going to be gone faster than Jordan could dunk a basketball. As usual, thank you for checking out my content. The subscribers out there who give me that love and support every single day, I really appreciate it. Hard work bringing you guys reviews every day with a one-year-old and a full-time job, but I do it. So if you can check in every day and give me support, I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much for those guys out there who subscribe to the channel. Don't forget that tomorrow I'll be bringing you that Adidas Next Level basketball sneaker. Another interesting basketball sneaker, but this time we're looking to the future instead of the past. Definitely stick around and make sure you see that tomorrow. For now, I have to say farewell from Tokyo and I'll be here tomorrow to see you and I hope you'll be here to see me. See you tomorrow. Thank you for checking in today, guys. I really appreciate your being here and viewing my content. Over here, we have the channel subscribe button. Chanera toro kuzihi onagaishimasu. Over here, we have the video I recommend you watch next. Kochira wa osusumi desu. And up here, we have a link to the channel introduction video. Kochira wa chanera no profil no video desu. Check them out. Clicking on them really helps the channel.